If you attended my recent WordPress security webinar, you know that if you run a website, any website on any platform, WordPress or otherwise, you are at risk of getting hacked. And this is not something that only happens to other people. This is something that happens to people like you and me. That's just the way things are these days. Security is your responsibility as a website owner. And one of the plugins I talked about during that webinar was Better WP Security. Uh, this is the plugin that addresses many of the most common security issues that afflict WordPress websites. It's sort of a Swiss Army knife for WordPress security problems. Uh, the setup, though, can be a little bit tricky and even somewhat dangerous. Dangerous as in it's possible to lock yourself out of your website, and that's probably more security than you have in mind. Uh, I've had several requests to go into more detail on how to use the plugin, so I'm going to do that right now. So I've installed and activated Better WP Security, and I have a new menu item at the bottom on the left, uh, Security. And when I click on that, that takes me to the Better WordPress Security screen. And the very first thing this plugin asks to do is to do a backup, which I think is a really good idea because... This plugin is going to change things about your database and your website settings. And if something goes wrong, you want to be able to restore to the state before you installed the plugin. So we're going to start by creating the backup, creating a database backup. It runs very quickly. You see the confirmation at the top here, the database backup was completed. The very next step asks if I want to secure my site from basic attacks or if I want to configure everything myself. This is sort of a wizard setup. If I select this top option, uh, it's going to do a lot of the hard work for me automatically. And I actually, for most people, would suggest that this is the thing you do uh, because the problem areas where you can shoot yourself in the foot uh, are really, you're going to have an option to avoid those. So after clicking that button, I get this report on the plugin dashboard. And this tells me everything the plugin can find about my site. Some of these are good, some of these are bad, some of these are in between. And it can be a little bit overwhelming the first time you look at it. Uh, one thing to keep in mind is this color coding, which is kind of confusing. Green means that your site is secure and you're fine. So I've got a few green areas in there that are okay. Orange means that your site is partially secure and might need some adjustments. Red means your site is not secure, and those are the things that you really want to fix. You want to focus on the red items the most. Blue is a little bit misleading. Uh, those are the ones where you want to proceed with caution. I don't know. I see blue. I think of blue as kind of a peaceful, calm color. Blue are some of the things that can break your website, and I'm going to talk about a few of those things as we move along in this video. Before you activate any of the things associated with the blue links, please be careful. So let's focus on the red ones first. I've got the admin user installed. That means a user with the name admin. Uh, that user has the ID number one in the database. Those are two things that we know absolutely we want to fix. Uh, also, uh, my database table name prefix, this is kind of a geeky thing. In the database, the tables begin with WP underscore, and that's something we can change here. So I'm going to go ahead and attack these first three. And really, I just do it by clicking the link. And then I have an option to rename the admin user. And just like that, the admin user is renamed. And then I can change the user ID here. Whoops, what just happened? Well, I changed the username for the admin, and I was logged in as admin. So it logged me out. This is one of those things you need to be aware of. So I'm going to have to log back in to continue. Just an example of some of the issues you might run into when you're working with this plugin. Let's go ahead and change that ID. That's not going to log me out because I'm still logged in as the new user that I created. And so those two issues have been changed from red to green. We're good on those. Let's rename the database tables as well. And we've already done the backup. Uh, it goes ahead and assigns this long alphanumeric prefix. And that's secure as well. Now what I'm doing as I'm fixing each one of these issues is I'm clicking on dashboard to go back to my list of things that need to be fixed. So I've only got one other issue that's red here, and I'm going to go ahead and fix that right now. This enables file change detection. This is a common thing that happens when your WordPress site gets hacked. Some of the files get changed. Now you should be aware that when you make this active, you're probably going to get a notice that your files have changed when you run an update. 
on either a theme or a plugin or WordPress itself. Uh, so you might get some false positives, but you'll be getting emails sent to your email address telling you when the system has detected changes to the files on your WordPress system. So let's go back to the dashboard, and uh, I've got rid of all of the red ones. If you do nothing else, getting rid of all of the red warnings is a great boost for your site's security. So I'm going to work my way through the yellow issues, which are the next most dangerous. Uh, enable strong passwords. That's always good. Let's fix that. I get to choose the user role, the minimum user role that should have strong password enforcement. That means when they create their account or when they log in, if they don't have a strong password, they have to set it to a strong password. Strong password would be a minimum length and a combination of letters and numbers. And I'm going to go ahead and change this to subscriber. So everyone, everyone above subscriber, that means all users have to have a strong password. Now this one is a little bit controversial, and I think you probably need to use your own judgment here. Uh, the admin area is available 24-7. Do you really update your website 24 hours a day? Well, I don't, and most people don't, but I never know when I'm going to need to update my website. And I don't want to run into a situation where I can't log in because I've locked the site down during certain hours of the day. Now, some people may have a different opinion about that, but I personally am not going to enable this option to lock my site down during specific hours of the day. But I am going to turn on this blacklist. Uh, this is a blacklist that is intended to block traffic from IP addresses that are known to be damaging. So you get the idea of the approach that I take when I'm setting up better WP security. Uh, these are the most important settings that you want to deal with. You want to rename the admin account and the account ID. Uh, you want to add that random prefix to your database table. You don't even need to know what that means. It's just something you should do. It's more secure. You want to enable the blacklist to block suspicious traffic, require strong passwords, and limit brute force attacks. That's one we didn't look at, and I can show you where that is in just a second. That's something that gets turned on, I think, automatically by the plugin. Danger. These are things you need to be careful with. Don't require secure logins if your site does not have SSL set up. This is something that will lock you out of your site, and you will be stuck. You'll need to log in by FTP and rename the plugin directory uh, to get back into your website. It can get pretty ugly if you're not familiar with FTP. And uh, you probably don't want to change the admin login address. You have the ability to hide the address, the wp-admin, where you log into admin. Um, that really, if you limit the brute force attack, which limits the number of failed login attempts, uh, there really isn't that much danger of anyone knowing where the WordPress login is because they either are able to log in in three tries or they're locked out. And that setting that I was just talking about is under login, limit login attempts. This is something you definitely want to enable. After five attempts, they get locked out. For a period of five minutes, you can adjust this to whatever you want. And then after a period of time, uh, after three lockouts, they get added to the blacklist and you can get an email notification that someone is trying to break into your system. Now, again, with this enabled, you don't really need to rename the login page unless you're not using secure passwords, but we're using secure passwords in this case. So back to the dashboard, I can see I'm not entirely green, but I'm not worried about it because I've set up most of the critical options. And uh, some of these other ones that are blue might possibly break plugins or cause problems with my theme uh, or lock me out of the site, as I just showed you. Uh, so those are things where you want to proceed with caution. And that's an overview of the Better WP Security with some tips on how to set it up to make your WordPress site more secure.